This video is about the mystery of this red LED. It's shining quite normally, but let's see what happens when I turn on the servo motor. Okay. Did you see that flicker? Yeah, see, see that flicker too? There was some flickering again. And again. Now let's make it yeah, let's let's make it a bit more aggressive. Let's rotate the servo a bit faster. You see, the LED is kind of blinking. But why does this happen? Now the explanation is an LED is a light emitting diode. So a diode only lets through current into a specific direction. When so when this LED does not light up, there's either no current fl flowing. This is quite impossible because it's connected to this power supply of the Raspberry Pi, or the current is floating. Um, in the opposite direction. But why does the current flow in the opposite direction? And yeah, let's see it. You really see it somehow has to do with the motor. And what you should know about motors are they are based on magnets and the effect that is present here is induction. So you can use a motor either as a motor or as a dynamo. So you can either put current there and you get a movement or you put a movement there and you get current floating. So you can so but what happens now to the servo, the servo has a kind of movement. It has all, uh, it has still the inertia of a movement. Even uh, so, let's make let's make the servo a bit um, slower that we can see the fact exactly what happens. So. The movement, and you see at a specific position, almost, almost at the peak. Did you see that? Now again. So to the explanation, the, the motor has a specific movement and there's a kind of inertia. So when you stop putting current into it, the servo horn still rotates a bit. And this rotation again creates energy in form of electricity in the opposite direction. So when you stop a motor, the motor produces some brake energy. When the motor breaks down, it uh, it feeds some current back into the circuit, and this current is in the opposite direction of the current powering the Raspberry Pi, and this leads to leads to the LED blinking. 
I hope you understood it, otherwise uh, I will make a, another video that explain this, explain this with some more formulas and more formal stuff. Okay, thanks and bye bye.